Hell in a Cell is WWE's last stop before its biggest show of the fall, Survivor Series 2014. The main matches for this night took place in the actual Hell in a Cell. So who won and how does it set up for Survivor Series? Allow me to explain. The first bout was on the kickoff show and it had Bo Dallas take on Mark Henry in a match that Henry easily won. It was a squash match and I did not really see the point of this feud, so hopefully that was the end of this rivalry. The second bout was between Dolph Ziggler and Cesaro for the Intercontinental title in a 2 out of 3 falls match. It was a fun match to watch and a great way to start off the show, as Ziggler won and retained his belt. Hopefully this rivalry continues and I could see these two somehow be involved in a traditional Survivor Series match next month. What followed was Nikki Bella vs Brie Bella, with the loser being the winner's assistant. The match was much better than expected and Nikki came away with the win and per match stipulation, now has a brand new assistant in her sister. You know that means this feud will continue and will possibly culminate at Survivor Series. Next was the WWE Tag Team Championship match between the Usos and Team Goldstar. This was a very fun match to watch that even featured a simultaneous superplex. Team Goldstar won and retained their titles, and I personally enjoy this rivalry, so hopefully it will continue through Survivor Series. The next match on the card was a 1 millionth battle between John Cena and Randy Orton inside Hell in a Cell, with the winner becoming the number one contender for Brock Lesnar's WWE Championship. Orton countered both a shoulder block and an FU into an RKO, and it was overall a pretty good match. Cena won when he FU'd Orton through a table off the top rope, which was predictable when Cena set the table. Since Cena won, he will get to face Lesnar at Survivor Series, although I was hoping Orton would win as I think the Orton vs Lesnar match would be much better. Next was The Miz vs Sheamus for the US title. This match was okay with Sheamus retaining his championship, but the real star here was Miz Dow. He copied The Miz to a T in a segment that followed the match was pretty funny. Also, my tweet was featured on the WWE app during this match, so that was pretty awesome in my opinion. Big Show vs Rusev followed. I thought this match was not very good, and it seemed pretty slow and dragged on forever. In the end, Rusev won and continued his dominance over American wrestlers. I personally do not know who Rusev will face next, as I have been clamoring for him to challenge for the United States Championship for a while. But until that day comes, it looks like they're just going to feed another American wrestler to him to squash. The Divas Championship match was next, with AJ defending the title against Paige. AJ won when she made Paige tap out after Alicia Fox rolled Paige back into the ring. Prior to this happening, Paige slammed her head when she fell off the barricade. After the match, Paige slapped Fox, so these two could be starting a feud, and it might be these three battling it out for the title. Overall, the match was okay, but we've seen better from AJ and Paige. The main event followed, and it featured Cincinnati's favorite wrestling son, Dean Ambrose, take on his longtime rival, Seth Rollins. When the match started, Ambrose brought tons of weapons to the ring and climbed to the top of the cell. Rollins then sent Joey Mercury and Jamie Noble to the top to try and get him off before Rollins climbed up himself and ambushed Ambrose. Rollins would then try to climb off with Ambrose chasing him. They were then battling it out on the side of the cage before both wrestlers fell off the side and through the announce tables. As they were being taken out on stretchers, Ambrose would get up and throw Rollins back into the cell. What followed was a brutal combination of chairs, tables, and violence. The match was great until the very weird ending, which saw Wyatt interfere and cost Ambrose the match. Overall, the match was really good and was the best on the card, and it reminded me a lot of the Hell in a Cell match from Bad Blood 97 between The Undertaker and Shawn Michaels. It also looks like Wyatt and Ambrose will now be rivals, but you can bet that Rollins vs Ambrose is far from over. Hell in a Cell 2014 was a pretty solid show, with Ambrose and Rollins stealing the show in the main event in the Hell in a Cell. It was by far the best match of the night in my opinion, and if you missed the show, you definitely want to catch a replay of it just to see this match. Hopefully the questions from this pay-per-view will be answered in the following weeks as WWE heads towards Survivor Series.